There's no law that says a developer must use a union contractor. Um, the truth of the matter is we are highly competitive. Uh, we've, uh, we've been as successful as we have in the past because we do uh, very high skilled labor uh, and we have very dedicated people. I, I don't think you can find a higher skilled workforce than New York City building tradespeople. Uh, we have a long tradition of training our people properly. Um, we have um, an excellent safety record. Uh, we certainly, uh, we certainly have the capacity to build things, monumental projects, very quickly. Uh, whether it be the Empire State Building or uh, any other any other high rise that goes up in Midtown. We are the, the home of the two-day cycle where we were doing two-day, we were doing reinforced concrete floors in two days in the middle of Manhattan when everywhere else in the country they were taking five. Uh, it's just, uh, there's that New York pace, that, that, that expression in New York Minute that carries over to the construction industry and uh, nobody works at our pace. Nowhere else that I've ever worked has a sense of camaraderie and, and the sense of we've got to get this done. And uh, it's just, it's a very special place. That's on a very economic side, why union? You're going to get it done fast, you're going to get it done under budget and in time. So that's the economic reason. But there's another reason. There are other reasons that why say why union that have a lot more to do with social justice. And I'm one of those people that isn't afraid to talk about that anymore. And uh, they're not dirty words. Um, people have the right to earn enough money uh, to support their families. Um, uh, people should have health care. Uh, people should have pensions. Uh, you know, many, many years ago, uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt talked about uh, the three-legged stool of retirement, where there was social security and pensions and private savings. And uh, Unions allow people to have, in addition to their Social Security, both pensions and private savings. Um, it, it's allowed me, uh, being, being a union worker, has allowed me to send my children to college and further their education. Um, I, I don't think, and I did that by working hard. Uh, it's, uh, being a union worker is not some sort of giveaway program. What it does is, it, being a member of a union does not entitle you to a handout. What it does is, it guarantees you an opportunity. I don't know how all of that be, sort of got to become a dirty word. You know, construction workers who work hard and teachers who work hard to teach children and, you know, and civil servants who help keep the city and the state moving. All of a sudden, they've become, you know, uh, the villains in this piece. And I just, I don't accept that. <laughs> so that's why union on, a, uh, uh, on not just an economic side, but on a social side as well. What's kept a, a tremendous number of our people working uh, in the last couple of years is uh, the World Trade Center projects that are going on down there. We have, uh, we probably have 500 uh, of our members working down there right now. And, uh, of course, the, the Tappan Zee Bridge will be starting soon. Uh, bids will be taken in August, I think, and we'll have, uh, we should have a good number of people on that project. And uh, the Hudson Yards is, is uh, also right around the corner, uh, which is uh, going to be uh, another very large project. So uh, uh, we, we need to be in a position uh, to provide our signatory contractors uh, with, the, with the people that they need. For the most part, we've dealt with it um, the way we've always dealt with it. Uh, quite frankly, eh, with, with, with excellence. We, we continue, no matter what, to put out a top-notch product. And that's what New York City building trades people do. They put out a top-notch product. Economic climate is, is always a factor in the construction industry, and you deal with it the best you can. But I mean, my, my local's been around since 1897. Uh, which is older than General Motors, and we've managed to stay afloat without the bailout from the federal government. So, you know, we're pretty proud of that. We also draw on, we draw on tradition. You know, we've been through a lot of, uh, we've been through a lot of difficult times, and we're still here. You know, my grandfather uh, got his book in this union in 1922. 
uh, you know, it, it went through the Depression, it went through World War II. Uh, we're part of the American fabric, uh, and we're, part, we're certainly part of the New York landscape. Uh, I wouldn't deny that there are uh, certainly non-union contractors in the city that are making a living uh, in a way that wasn't true 40 years ago. I mean, that's just a fact. I couldn't deny that. Um, but I also think if you look at the, the truly important projects uh, that are going on in this city, uh, they're being built. They're being built union. Uh, uh, Donald Trump, who's the premier developer in this city, always use New York City building trades. The World Trade Center is New York City building trades. Um, and I, I expect that trend uh, to continue. Uh, as a matter of fact, I personally, I have every faith and every confidence that uh, uh, the New York City building trades will, will probably go on to capture an even greater share, market share of the work to come in the next several years because I think value always outs at the end. I think that working people in this country, and not just union working people, but working people, uh, wherever they are, have borne the brunt of all the economic damage that's been done. Um, and and I, I, think, I think you can't get blood from a stone. Uh, I, I think that uh, the people who make this country work, uh, the people who build it, the people who run it, the people who operate it in a very hands-on way, uh, have done everything they can, um, and 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 there isn't any more to get out of them, um, and and I think everybody kind of realizes that no matter where they are on the political spectrum, uh, there isn't a labor law that exists today that has not been instituted uh, because of the actions uh, of labor unions, and I don't think there's anyone in this country who, if they were truly educated. Uh, I don't think anyone in this country would want to go back to America, to an America, uh, prior to those labor laws. Uh, I don't think too many people agreed with Newt Gingrich and his idea that we should have uh, kids working as janitors and reopening orphanages. I, I just don't think that's the right direction for a 21st century America. Uh, some of the non-union, or not even non-union, uh, let me change that. The anti-union rhetoric that you hear of late, like this, the whole Scott Walker thing, and I'll say that out loud, uh, that was just an out-and-out -out attack on, on labor unions. Um, it, it's, it's over the top, and what it is, is it's an attempt to scapegoat working people for a financial situation that was created several pay grades above them.